Assalamu alaikum sisters, how are you all doing? I hope you all are well and good. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Fatima G and in today's video I want to take you guys on a journey of decluttering. So I started this decluttering my life journey a couple of months ago now and it has just been so liberating. The reason why I've decided to declutter my life is to just live peacefully and just heal overall. So I decided to set myself a challenge. So the first part of my decluttering journey was to basically clear my home as much as I possibly can. I come from a background where we keep absolutely everything for a rainy day. We keep things for, you know, we might use it again, etc. So I grew up like that, believing that most of these things I can keep. And in one day, um, I will be able to use it again. But that day never really came. And I also kept all of my children's things. I've got three children, alhamdulillah. So my goal was to do this hand-me-down thing. So I decided to save my baby's first clothes, my first child, who is now eight years old. I saved her clothes, which her youngest sister is currently using now. Her sister is three. So you can just imagine I've saved all of these things ever since my first child was born. But alhamdulillah, it's very useful now. And in my son's things as well, I saved them and everything. So it was a lot of stuff in my home getting rid of them was really really difficult hence why I said you know what let me challenge myself let me put a number to it let me start off with getting rid of 100 things and see how it goes and alhamdulillah you would have to wait till the end of this video to see if I actually completed that challenge inshallah for me letting go is a form of healing letting go is going to bring so much joy to me. I'm really excited to take you guys on this journey with me where I'm slowly, slowly decluttering my life to live peacefully, to heal and to just let go, to just absolutely let go. So in this episode, I want to share the first stage of my decluttering process. It's all about getting rid of the things that no longer serve me. Initially, I didn't want to get rid of clothes at all. But as the challenge went on, I decided to get rid of the kids' clothes. Alhamdulillah. And um, I got rid of their toys. They were really, really happy to get rid of most of their toys. I found it really hard to get rid of the kids' toys. Like I'm that parent who I just will not, I will not, I refuse to throw away my kids' toys without their permission. Yes, I know. Like how do you need permission to throw away your kids' toys? When I was growing up, that was not the case for me. My things were just dashed left, right and centre by adults who should have protected these things for me. You know, so now as an adult myself, I don't do that to my kids. So I had to encourage them and talk to them and let them know like, it's okay, Allah is going to provide for you some more. And all of us, we started realizing that subhanAllah, having all of these things that's actually weighing us down, not just physically, but emotionally as well. Like the children, they will find out all their toys are all around the house and they can't store them properly or they will lose interest in a particular toy after it's gone missing for X amount of weeks or something like that. So that's how they were able to like finally decided to say, okay, mommy, we're going to let go. We're going to get rid of these things. And literally they got rid of like half of their toys, which I'm I'm so so happy about and I'm so proud of them for doing as well and slowly slowly clarity is coming to our life so what really helped us get rid of these things especially my children I kept asking them does this toy bring you any joy does this bring you any happiness at all and most of it is no mommy we don't even play with it no more we don't even use it often and for myself I asked myself like you know what was the purpose of saving this and I didn't have a valid reason, a valid answer. And when the answer didn't make sense to us, it was so much easier for us to say goodbye to these items once and for all. Like, I just want to say the process of us really getting rid of these things is not about throwing them away. For me, it's about healing because I've literally linked my cluttering behavior to my upbringing, my childhood, not being able to let go of things because when I was younger, I didn't have anything. I didn't have a lot of things at all. And the little that I did have, I wasn't allowed to play with it or use it how I really wanted to as a child. So now as an adult, I find myself just holding on to things that no longer serve me. So I need to heal that aspect of me that really find it really difficult to get rid of things, you know, and just let go because I want to feel lighter. I want to feel liberated. 
And most importantly, I really want my home to start reflecting how I've started feeling. Like I started feeling really calm. And when you have a cluttered home, you can't feel calm. There's no calmness there. There's just no space. There's You can't store things properly. Like, yes, we live in a smaller house, but still that does not give me the A-OK -okay for me to just keep things just let it go and doing this challenge was just brilliant because it was literally a stepping stone for me to start a journey of just letting letting things go and not using the excuse of oh I'm going to use it later no I'm not going to use it later I'm going to get rid of it if I need it later I can always purchase it again you know and also what really helped as well was the fact that okay I learned that all right this is going to Sierra Leone somebody else is going to use it someone else is going to make good use of it and I took them to charity shop as well where some of it might get recycled and all of these things so it was so much easier so alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah, I'm so grateful. Now, I just want to say, if you guys are on a similar journey, remember to be gentle with yourself, subhanAllah. Like, take small step every single day and celebrate every single step you take. I've been celebrating, sisters. I've literally been celebrating. Like, we all deserve to live a peaceful life. We all deserve to live in a space that basically nurtures our well-being. One thing I am happy about as well is the fact that I actually got the children involved in this journey with me. I explained to them why we had to get rid of the things and I explained to them why over the years I've accumulated so many things like um, their clothes, for example. I don't know any sister who has kept clothes for that long. I don't, you know, and with me, the reason why I decided to do that is because... Um, I was married to Amanda was not very ambitious. So I just thought to myself, I want to have five children. That was my goal. Like I had put my heart to it, my mind to it, every single thing. So I thought to myself, just saving all their things would, you know, make sense. And, you know, um, I guess I would save my family money, you know, ins instead of buying new sets of clothes. Every single time I have a child, at least I will invest in my first child, my first daughter and my first son, buy good quality things and then thereafter hand it down. So that's why, that's why I really kept a lot of the stuff because a lot of my things, even till now, the bedroom is packed with my oldest daughter's things because in my head, I'm like, oh, yeah, Zaheer is going to wear it. My little three-year-old is going to grow into it soon and stuff like that. So I'm still kind of like finding it really dif difficult to get rid of those things, you know. But slowly, slowly, like when it comes to other things, we have been able to get rid of them. Even books as well. I've got tons of books that we got rid of, even though we still have a lot of books in our bookshelves. Alhamdulillah, Zahira is now preschool. So she's using the books at the moment. Like, you know, some of the books that I'm dying to get rid of. But I'm like, okay, let me use it for her. <laughs> and then in short, Allah she will grow out of it soon and then I'll get rid of it inshallah they were all great investment but I can hand it over to somebody else who will make good use of it so that's how you should see this decluttering journey like okay I'm not going to use this anymore this doesn't serve me anything whatsoever and it's just cluttering my home however somebody else is going to benefit from this you know let me pass it on to somebody you, you know there are groups on whatsapp where you can share share it there like you don't want it no more just post it there somebody might want it you know subhanallah and it would make a big difference in that person's life so when you start seeing things that way it's easier to let go of things it's so much easier and i pray to allah that allah blesses me and my children with a bigger place soon when allah blesses us with a bigger place best believe like this is not going to come with us. Like the only thing that I'm going to take with me <laughs> is the fact that I'm just, I love that hand-me-down concept. I love the fact that whatever my older daughter wore, my youngest daughter can wear now. And I like to see that. For me, it was very healing for me, especially when my marriage ended. The fact that, you know, um, my baby Zahira was wearing Homera's clothes. It really helped. When I was getting rid of Z Zaki's clothes, you guys, I was crying. I, was, I wasn't healed those times. Those were like the times where, to be honest with you, I wasn't even divorced at that time. But I just kind of knew in my heart that my marriage is not going to be saved. You know, I'm like, this marriage has ended. So I had to get rid of the things and um i remember just crying and just crying and i was literally crying deep my heart my whole body was weak oh, i gave them to a sister who at a time i classed as a really good sister and um i just put them all in a bag and i gave it to her and also i gave them to my little sister as well who was having a baby boy alhamdulillah so that helped as well you know it helped me because it was really difficult sisters i'm not going to lie and um 
The sister that I gave it to, I gave her so many things. She couldn't even keep them, she said. She said she had to give them to some, I don't know if she, if, I don't know if she gave it to charity or if she gave them to another sister. But either way, I saw my nephew wear Zaki's clothes. So that was also healing for me. It was always so nice to just see that. So that's the only aspect of me that I'm going to take to my new home, which is I'm going to take all of Homera's old clothes for Zahira to wear it again, inshallah. But everything else, I'm willing to just let go. There's no need to accumulate so much stuff. There's no need to keep them. I'm not going to use it again. I'm not going to use it again. I'm just not. Like, <laughs> you know, it's never happened. <laughs> but yeah, alhamdulillah, anyway, I feel so happy that I did this journey. And um, every single day, we got rid of things. Every single day, I was getting rid of things. And um, it's just beautiful. So I would encourage anyone to do this because it really brings a lot of joy, subhanAllah. It brings so much joy when you have that little space. And even now, because to be honest with you, this video was done about a month ago. I still need to do more. I think by the end of the year, inshallah ta'ala, I want to do two more big declutters and just get rid of things. And my goal next is to actually get rid of the kids' clothes and just, just get rid of them. They don't need so much things, you know. Oh, these are like the kids' baby clothes. This was handed down from Hamera and Zahira wore them. So the reason why I kept them, subhanAllah, I wanted to sell them. <laughs> I wanted to sell them, but I never actually got round to selling them, subhanAllah. So I'm very, very, very happy that a baby in Sierra Leone is going to wear this and then they're probably going to pass it on and that's the thing in Sierra Leone like people pass it on and that you know they keep passing it on so alhamdulillah sometimes I think one of the reasons why I've kept these things for so long Zahir is three now Zahir is three years old I don't know like I find it really hard to just detach myself from my baby's things I find it really hard to detach myself because you know I wanted to keep this till I have my fifth baby like I was going to stay married you know what I mean subhanAllah so it was really hard to get rid of Zaki's stuff so now getting rid of kids um, Zahira's things that was handed down from Homera it's not as painful because obviously I've done a lot of healing and stuff but when I was getting rid of Zaki's clothes I was bawling I was crying but alhamdulillah because the reason why it's so much easier for me to get rid of these things now is I know someone's going to make use of it. You know, I know it. That it's going to Africa and someone there is going to make use of it. And all these kids are going to be happy with the, the parents because these are baby clothes. These are like sleep suits, vests, you know, pajamas and stuff like that. A bag full. <laughs> so, alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum, sisters. I hope you all are okay. So, today is day 27 of decluttering. And um, I'm just so proud of myself. The truth is, subhanAllah, I didn't have no intention to get rid of clothes. But I had so many things that I wanted to sell, but I didn't get the chance to. So now I'm going to donate them, which I'm so happy about. Alhamdulillah, um, just like the books, I'm going to also donate these clothes to the charity in Sierra Leone. And um, I'll be dropping them soon, sometime this week, inshallah. And these, alhamdulillah, a sister of mine actually... Oh, there's a helicopter. Alhamdulillah, these, they go into a sister that actually she purchased them. So I'm like, okay, Alhamdulillah, I'll take them. You know, you can have them for whatever you want to give me, inshallah. So I'm so, so happy. So I'm just about to drop it now, even though we're super duper late, subhanAllah. Another thing that I really want to work on, inshallah ta'ala, is um, I'm always late. Like literally, I'm not punctual. I'll tell somebody I'll be at three o'clock and I'll end up getting there for four or something like that, which is absolutely terrible. Like that's not a good trait of a Muslima. Like the Muslima that I'm trying to become is is punctual, you know. So that's another thing that I need to do. I need to challenge myself, inshallah, to be punctual. When I say I'm gonna be there one o'clock, I want to be there five to one kind of thing. So Alhamdulillah, I'm just so proud of myself. I'm so happy. Like I feel like doing this decluttering has made me fall in love with myself even more, which is something that I'll talk to you guys about, inshallah, ta'ala. But yeah, Alhamdulillah. So I've got three days to go, inshallah. And now I'm currently on 150 things. Alhamdulillah, barik. I didn't count these things one by one. I just didn't think it was necessary. And that means I would have got loads, got rid of loads of stuff. But what I did instead, I said to myself, okay, this is going to give me five points. This is going to give me five points. And then altogether, I'm like, okay, it came up to about 30, um, 30 things kind of thing. But obviously, as you can clearly see, there's more than 30 things here. So there's four bags going to Sierra Leone. 
one two three four and then this one is going to the sister's house alhamdulillah and her daughter is going to wear it so i'm just so happy i'm going to be seeing her daughter in um my children my Zahira's clothes and stuff like that i'm just so happy to see that somebody else is going to use it and make use of it and obviously people in sierra leone are absolutely gonna you know make good use of all of these things which i'm so grateful for mark my word sisters inshallah i have intentions to obviously do something like this as well like when i have more time more Mommy, you know yeah when are you gonna finish? just two more minutes two more minutes okay go on go on one thing i want to do for our community as well on youtube the idni la one day i want a lot to help us facilitate something like this whereby we can send donations to sierra leone because obviously that's where i'm from it'll be much easier but right now time you know i just don't have the time and all these other stuff that's going on for me to be able to start like a you know a non-profit organization but mark my words be idni la that's going to be something that i'll do in the future inshallah but anyways that's it for today so um i do i'm just going to go ahead with the challenge anyway i've got three days to go so now i'm thinking i want to challenge myself even more and make it 200 things so 150 so that means i need to get fi i get rid of 50 more things so i'm gonna do it so the next thing that i really want to like kind of like um get rid of are my jilbabs <laughs> that's gonna be really hard because i really like my jilbabs and stuff like that so but then i need to get rid of some intentionally get rid of some jilbabs some the carbs and things like that so that might get my might get me probably up to um 170 and then i need to challenge myself even further to get rid of an additional 30 things but i'll definitely update you guys inshallah assalamu alaikum welcome back to my final day of getting rid of things today is the day i finally made it alhamdulillah i know these things look chaotic subhanallah because when i was getting them out of the house it started raining <laughs> so i just literally just dumped everything here but alhamdulillah today it's really sunny so i'm gonna sort the things out and if there's anything that's wet i'm gonna just dry it out quickly before i put them um in the bag because alhamdulillah these things are going to sierra leone which i'm really really happy about alhamdulillah got rid of literally over 200 things like that's 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 absolutely amazing even this um clothes rack is going clothes dryer thing that's what you call it right clothes dryer is going like a sister asked for it so i'm gonna clean it and then inshallah drop it to her and then even that thing right there is going as well which i'm so happy about like after doing this challenge i can literally just get want to get rid of more things you know it doesn't end here continues inshallah so i'm gonna sort these out quickly put them in bags if there's anything that's wet i'm gonna um dry it and inshallah ta'ala inshallah ta'ala i'm gonna drop it tomorrow which i'm alhamdulillah so i guess today is a bonus day because even though i finished the challenge i'm about to go and drop the clothes now and i thought to myself let me check and see if i'll find anything else alhamdulillah i got some shoes in here some jackets i thought about it like who's gonna wear jackets in sierra leone but i heard that most of these clothes are gonna go to like the countryside and in the countryside it's quite cold so a child out there is gonna wear these jackets inshallah so i'm just so happy that um we finally finally got rid of a lot of things initially i didn't have no intentions to de declutter clothes at all i was just literally going to get rid of physical things like 100 things physical things and i got so excited and it was such, such a lovely challenge that i just decided to just get lot get, get rid of lots of clothes lots and lots of clothes are out but trust me the kids still got lots of clothes so now that i'm in the mood to declutter i'm gonna sort out their clothes the weather is changing alhamdulillah it's um much better now in terms of like i need to get rid of like the winter Mommy. hold on there's the hair off. Hey. oh thank you that's so kind thank you um like get rid of the winter and autumn clothes and just get summer clothes in kind of thing so i'm so so excited so there you have it sisters for me subhanallah growing up i faced a lot of trauma and i've come to realize that it really impacted many areas of my life especially my home and subhanallah if you've ever struggled with keeping clutter around you might understand how overwhelming it can be so for me holding on to things became a coping mechanism you know a way for me to feel safe and in control when everything else felt uncertain
As I continued to clear out the items in my house, I felt so calm and really, really happy. Alhamdulillah. It was as if I was getting rid of emotional baggage as well, which felt so good. Alhamdulillah. Now I feel like my home, even though it's not how I want it in terms of the things that I've accumulated over the years, but it does make a lot of difference that I've got a lot of things out already. Alhamdulillah. And I just want to say to you, sisters, if you're struggling with clutter and trauma, just know that you are not alone. And I know the process of decluttering can be very, very daunting, but just know that it will be so rewarding once you take that first step, like start small and be gentle with yourself. And remember that it's okay to ask for help. So if you have anyone around you that can support you, ask them to help you, inshallah. And just remember that each step you take is literally truly going to help you become you know more peaceful and inshallah will liberate you i just want to say thank you so much for joining me in this personal journey i hope my experience can offer some sort of encouragement inshallah to Allah, if you're dealing with similar challenges and don't forget to like this video sisters if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to continue to you know um experience my journey with me my journey of decluttering and just bettering my life daily